So I basically bought three of the best pen. Well, I say best. Three of the decent pens that are offered. There's loads of other options out there which are like ultra expensive. But considering these three pens cost close to $70. Are they good? We'll do a head to head. First one's the Skivy. You know, uh, let me know how you say that. Apparently it's in London. Uh, we've got a nice wa words worth and black. That has to be my favorite so far. Let me show you why. Look at that beauty, mate. Pure luxury. Look at that. Okay, so we're going to get rid of the cases. They all come in nice cases. And the reason I like that one is that looks like very Donald Trumpy, doesn't it? Like very like, oh, I'm, I'm la di da di da That one's nice. That one's good. We're doing a right test. And then you got a secret stash one. You go, wait, let me do it the right way. Let me, let me show you front screen. Okay, so we go, oh, um, I want to do it so it's a nice reveal. Wait, how do you do that? Okay, it's like that. And you go, whoosh. It's almost like, remember those old artillery things I used to throw? I don't know what you call them, but yeah, those things. So that is a nice wood one. And because that one has the best case, I'm going to keep the case on show. So we've got that here. So we've got three pens. One. Uh, let me give you a price breakdown. That one there is... Let me have a quick look on my uh, listing here. That one there is $24.95, which is... A fountain pen, gold nib. Oh, come on. Your focus needs more focus. There. Um, that is a beautiful option. I like that. Very, like, smarty darty da. And then we've got the Midnight Blue, which is... Let me have a look at the price. I'm, I'm, I'm building up to the tension. Can you see me building up to the writing test? This one is the Midnight Blue, which is, like, 50... Oh, no. 29.95. And then we've got the, the wooden one here. Which is, uh, oh, this isn't that bad. This is only 20. But this one, this one looks like, you know, like that. Come on now. Uh, come on now, uh, piece. Look at that. This gives you something to do, doesn't it? And like, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. It reminds you of the old wooden tra train sets as kids. Remember those? Okay, so there. So we've got three pens. Let me bring you down. Okay, so we're going to go, we're going to try and do some fancy writing. So first up is the, the wooden pen. What uh, what letter shall I write? Uh, what letter can I write the best? There's one letter. Okay, we'll do R. Okay, let me bring you a nice. We'll do double lining. We'll go. There's an R with the, the wooden pen. And then we'll do midnight. Midnight blue. That's a bit of a beauty. And what should we do with that? We'll do a. a what letter? We'll do B. B that's that one and then we'll do the fancy luxury option you ready for it I don't think you are so we'll do a what's the best letter I can do we'll do a mm, I don't know what tell me a letter should we do a K let's try a K let's try, well that's a bit fancy but let's try K is Oh, I messed the K up. Oh, I messed the K up. This is meant to be the best pen and I messed it up with a... Look at that K. What does that look like? That looks. That doesn't look like a K. Okay, we'll give that another shot. Let's give that another shot. So we go... Apparently it's something like that. And then the top is like... Like that. And then we do a little kick and flick. And then... Okay, yeah. That's how it's meant to be. But that definitely, feel, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad I spent, how much did I spend on that? I spent 48 99 on that. And I'm glad I spent it because that actually feels half decent. Uh, that one's good, but that feels like a normal Parker ballpoint pen. So as in like quick jotter type pen. Okay. This one feels nice, but it feels almost like this one. So let's try K okay with this one. It's like a bit, I don't know what's the word. Feels a bit, uh, not sticky, but like gritty. It feels a bit gritty. Because it's probably like, let's have a look at the ink cartridge. Oh, it's got one of those big bad boys. 
So also that is something to consider. How easy is it to get a refill cartridge for them? But I like the wooden effect on this. It feels very... If, which one would I... If I was going to get a gift, which one would I like? Okay. I would like... Come on, you already know which one. I would want... Actually, wait a minute. Let's let's check this out. I would want... Will that work? Yeah. That's what... Maybe? Nah. Maybe? Mm, I'm not sure that would work. Because it's like... It's luxury quality silver gold but with wood not sure about that but that in its own case the leather one that feels very nice but there should have been like a pencil and a pen set that would have been epic you get six cartridges with it and you get the refillable ink cartridge so that is definitely my best one uh, i'll put links in the description so you can check these out uh, definitely worth a pickup the wood one my second best wood and then i'm gonna put that last I like the colour on that, but writing-wise, because we're more interested in how well it performs. That's like more like a Parker Jutta style. And actually that one, that one is cheaper than that one, and that one writes nicer. So overall, you know what? Look at that. Wham! I just put that in your laptop bag, like an EDC, everyday carry. That would be a BOC. I have an EDC pen, which actually writes epic. My laptop bag's not here. That does really well. So, uh, just for Gus is boosted, if you push harder, it writes darker. Who would have guessed it? That is quite amazing. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's just... <laughs> okay. So, let's just give him that. Because I am live streaming on Reddit at the moment. So, the bands are coming in. So, watch this. Watch. I push hard. Look, it writes dark. But I push light. And it writes light. As if it's a fountain pen. Beautiful.